you beautiful. Say let's go fools. Welcome home fools. When do you guys don't pick up sergeant? <laughs> it's gonna be funny that they're gonna lift and Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got it, fool. reaching far beyond the promotion of now Major Michael Morris. He chose to have his ceremony in his hometown of 96 in put their life on the line inside the First Baptist Church. Major Morris says they shaped him into not only the man he is today, but the leader he is becoming. A lot of men sitting in the audience today uh, taught me um, what it meant to be a true leader. Um, not just a leader with institutional knowledge, a leader that knows how to lead folks. And uh, that's what I attribute it back to my parents and, and the leaders that served uh, in front of me. One of those leaders is this beautiful woman, Major Morris's nanny, Miss Shirley Leopard. Well, she meant a lot in my life to me. This ceremony is typically held in Columbia, but Major Morris says after learning it was up to him to decide the details, he soon realized this day wouldn't be for him. He's coming to visit Nanny uh, the next day, driving through Newberry, and I said, you know what, this will be Nanny's day. And little did Miss Leopard know, she would have the honor to pin her grandson. My grandmother is um, terminally ill with cancer, and uh, it's an honor to have her do it. I don't know much, how much longer she's going to be around. That might be uncertain, but one thing is not. This soldier has made his nanny the proudest woman in the state of South Carolina today. I'll tell you that I love you, and I'm thankful for you to... I'm thankful for you to be able to pin my rank on me. As Nanny wiped those tears of joy, she couldn't let us go without letting us know this. You know, when he was growing up, he was a little stinker. And I had to whip him several times. But I am proud of him today. Thank you. 
taking your seats. <laughs>
Tickle Jack is up first. Come on, little guy. Yeah, unless, unless people really don't have presents for me. There's a present for you in there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It says Richard and Lorelai. Sorry, it's late. Enjoy Santa. You didn't get to hug Santa? Next time we see him, you can hug him. How about you open up the present? Um, wait, wait. I gotta take my jacket off and my boots. You gotta take your jacket and your boots off? I Tear away. I see something in there. You see something in there? Lorelai, you gonna help? You want me to get the top? Yeah. Okay, what is it? A car. You think it's a car? Yeah. Are you sure? Mom, I really want to play with it. You do? You really want to play with it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I can't reach. You can't reach? Yeah, it's too high. I need somebody to pick me up. Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Is that the best day ever, Richard? Yeah. <laughs>Months overseas, Army Sergeant Jonathan Duncan is finally reunited with his family and holding his seventh child, four month old Riker, for the first time. His wife was pregnant when he left and he wasn't able to come home for his son's birth. It's going to take some adjusting for him to figure out who I am. Different, different face feeding him. <laughs>
But yeah, it's pretty awesome. Just moments before this reunion that brought tears to onlookers, Amanda Duncan had her seven kids lined up at Charlotte Douglas Airport, American flags in hand, ready to greet who they thought was one of their dad's friends returning home. How are you? Good. Been the man of the house? Yes, sir. All right. The emotions of seeing their dad home safe after his second deployment were overwhelming. It's been tough. Um, it's been really tough, but never thought I'd make it home. <laughs> Now the Duncan family has plans to spend some quality time together. Going to the beach. You can see more of that heartwarming reunion on our website. Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, I'm Airman First Class Nicholas Ream, and I just spent uh, seven months of my career in uh, Texas. Uh, I did my basic training out of Lackland Air Force Base, Texas, and then I did uh, six months out of Shepherd Air Force Base, Texas. Um, I've been gone from my family for six months. I haven't seen any of them or anything. And uh, I'm going to dinner right now to surprise all of them, and they have no idea that I'm coming. So uh, let's go surprise them. We're good. Stop walking so fast.